went to the alley to meet Gojo. Ah, he's there! We're here to try the Jujutsu Kaisen the alley drinks. Actually, they're okay. They're not my favorite, but they're very pretty. And we were so happy to find Moko Yam in Calgary. We were enjoying our noodles. Their noodles are so, so good. I would definitely come back again. And I wish I had a takeout. <laughs> Nadu, what are you doing there? Today is a filming tutorial day and this is my current table setting. As you can see here, I'm using this, um, um, I don't know how you call this, but it's a multitude table and I can adjust it the way I want it to be and I find it really, really useful. And here are the material that I pull out for now, but later I'm going to add more to this tutorial. And yeah, this is the dragon that we're going to make today. That's for the Chinese New Year. And I also got my tea ready right there. This is the most important part of my whole tutorial filming because my original table mats, they are um, very dark. So I purchased some background. They are big enough for me to film with everything in it. And some of them are actually double-sided like this one. One side is the marble and the other side is just pink. And I also picked many different other backgrounds, but I never really used the fence one because it turned out way too dark. So far, my favorite is this marble one and this pink one. I think it really depends on the lighting of that day. There's actually not much of the natural light in my unit, so when I'm doing the tutorial filming, I will turn on all the lights that I have, and also I will play the tutorial at the background on my computer that will provide the extra lighting for me. So that way my tutorial will be much more brighter. All right, I'm going back to the tutorial filming, so I believe when this vlog is up, the tutorial will be ready. Let's go! I'm going to show you some of my custom order projects and also what's going to be on my Patreon this February. Can you guess what is this? It's a little pony! This is a custom order from Jaden and they want their pony to be made in a sitting pose with the wing closed like this. They don't want the open wings. When I first looked at the picture they sent me, I was kind of not sure how am I going to create a hairstyle. I was thinking maybe I can crochet every piece and then sew them together. But then I figured out maybe that's not what I want because even though if I crochet the hairstyle pieces, like you know, like add layers on top of each other to create a hairstyle, it doesn't look fluffy enough. So then I decided to brush all the hair and attach them to the body one by one. 
this project took a lot of time to make and I'm very proud of myself because look at the hairstyle it's so good look at that and I'm not sure if you can tell this pony is actually a unicorn um, you can see there's a horn right there inside the hair and oh my god look at the bangs <laughs> so good oh my god and it's very very fluffy um I'm very happy about the result and I just sent a picture to my customer Jaden and they love it <laughs> I use the acrylic worsted yarn to make this project it's been a while for me to use this material and I really enjoyed it I think the most difficult part of this project is definitely the hair part I wouldn't say it's easy to make projects so I will probably not make this into a pattern because I feel it's um, it will be difficult to create the same effect if you ask me to make another one I can make a similar one but probably not um, look exactly the same okay back to Jaden um, Jaden if you're watching thank you so much for custom order this special piece I have fun making him I believe this one is gonna be your super cute desk buddy ah you're so cute I can't wait to see this one on their desk if you're wondering how do I create a fluffy effect like this to make the hairstyle and the tail and the mane, I simply brush the yarn. This is the brush, you can still see the red yarn in it. Yeah, um, but I would suggest you do not use the one that you use to brush your pads because it will be kind of dirty and yucky. And I like this one. This is not sponsored. This is the one I use. I found this one at my local Walmart. And what I like about this brush is it's very strong. I've been using this for roughly three years now and all the brush doesn't come off yet and it has this silicone texture handle it's very soft to hold I will link the link down below in the description box where you can find this liquor brush and next is this chunky boy t-rex dino um, this is a custom order from Jay Jay told me their favorite dino is actually a t-rex and they sent me the picture and tell me that they want their dino to have that blue spine feature look like this and also their mouth shape has to be like this and most importantly they want it to be chunky if you know my work good enough you know most of my design are chunky round and kawaii so here it is they want it to be around eight to nine inches tall this is exactly nine inches tall and it's very chunky and squishy and so cute to hold for this project it took me a while to figure out how do I want it to be because I want to make it as low so as possible but then when I look at the picture again I found it's probably gonna be not easy to make it low so or even no so it's impossible but I, um, I changed the style I used to make dino um, I actually made the body parts for no sew. The only part I have to sew is the legs, the hands, and the spine, and of course the tail. Well, this is actually my very first giant dino. I haven't made dino for a long time. The last dino I made was my Donosaur series, and they were made with a blanket yarn, and this one is also made with a blanket yarn. I kind of want to make my next dino into a smaller size with the worsted yarn speaking of the worsted yarn actually the spine part if you can see they are all made with the worsted yarn I like to mix and match different material to create my plushies and this is a great example to show you how I do it you can see the blush here is also worsted yarn and I also use the worsted yarn to sew the mouth and it turned out so cute the more I hold it, the more I want to keep it for myself. Jay, maybe I should keep this for myself. Anyway, Jay, if you're watching, thank you so much for this custom order. Later today, I'm going to pack this two doll and ship them out. Next, let's go to our February Patreon. As you know that I design a crappy love for my January Patreon pattern just because people can have enough time to make it before the February Valentine's Day. And in this February, I actually have another idea that is also Valentine's Day related. Ta-da! They are lobster. 
Lobsters is one of the crochet pattern from my Patreon February pattern club and they are very similar to Crabby Love that I created in January. They both have the heart shaped claws like this and I also add this to their back. Not gonna lie, this is such a cute feature and slowly become my signature. This time I didn't use plushy yarn or chunky yarn to make lobster because I kind of want to know how does it look like in worsted yarn and they turned out exactly what I wanted to be. They're so cute. I also like their facial expression. It's like, meh, I don't care. Of course, you can use any yarn that you want to create the lobster with my pattern. So I would say just give it a try. Lobster is the beginner friendly to easy crochet pattern. So if you are a crochet beginner and you want to try, you want to challenge yourself, I think you can try lobster. If you want to try making lobster, simply sign up for the single crochet club on my Patreon this February. This will be the free reward pattern of this month only. Okay, the next Patreon February pattern will be uh, deeply influenced by TikTok. Ta-da! It's a giant capybara. Actually, it's not that giant. It's probably about the same size as the Dino I just show you guys. I see many things of this capybara wearing different type and style of the hat and backpack. I've seen the one has the froggy. I've seen the one that has a turtle and strawberry. And I decided to go with the classic orange. I love capybara so much. I even have this cute lamp. Actually, I do have a capybara crochet pattern in my Patreon a couple years ago. It was so cute that people really love it. Um, but I never really put that one into public. To this day, I still have people DM me and asking about how can they have access to that capybara crochet pattern. So that's also another good reason for me to create another capybara in the plushy size. And guess what? I also made the backpack can be removed from this capybara like this. Other than that, I really like the size I made for this capybara because it's so chunky and you know, you can just hug it. And this capybara is a beginner to easy crochet pattern level as well. So again, if you are a crochet beginner and you want to challenge yourself, you can also try this one. This two crochet pattern reward will be on my February Patreon. So make sure to grab them by the end of this February. Um, actually, they will be published to my pattern store later, but they will be listed in a much higher price. So um, joining my Patreon pattern club is your best deal. So if you're interested and you want to make these two cuties with us, simply sign up for our Patreon pattern club this month in February. And for more details, I will link the link down below. Before you sign up, please read through the about page and see if the rules work for you. Oh wait, there's more. Jian Jian, these are my Chinese dragon. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell or not. I think these two are not in the same size. This one probably shorter, this one is longer, I think. Yeah, if you can tell, this one, this one is slightly longer and this one is shorter. Um, the shorter one is a prototype that I showed you earlier. Um, I think I was happy about this size because it's just um, chunky and round enough to hold in hand and it's very cute. But when I actually filmed the tutorial, I somehow decided to make it longer. Let's just call it a adult dragon and a baby dragon. <laughs> So when I post a tutorial, I always post both version left hand and right hand. Um, but since I'm filming in 4K right now, the quality is way much better. And that also means the uploading time will be double, sometimes triple. And it will kind of delay my time uploading to YouTube. So I post a vote in the YouTube community to ask about your opinions. I really appreciate your feedback. So from now on, I will only upload one version, which is right hand version. Um, by doing this, it will reduce my time uploading to YouTube and it will be much easier for you to browse on my YouTube as well. I will still upload the tutorial in both version, left and right handed, but only when I have new skills to share. 
So if you want to make this Chinese dragon with me, the tutorial is now on my YouTube. Chinese New Year Eve of this year, 2024, will be February 9th and February 10th will be the first day of the Year of the Dragon. So you still have time to make this dragon to celebrate the Chinese Lunar New Year and if you're not in rush, you have roughly about a year to make the dragon for the Year of the Dragon 2024. The reason why I named this kitty Maru is because when I first met her in Petlands, they had this little room that you can go in to visit the kitties that need to be adopted. And I saw there's an M on her forehead. I don't know why Maru, the, the name Maru just popped into my head. So yeah, after we adopted her and came home, I found that there is a circle on both sides of her body. So I think, wow, then Maru is the right name for her because Maru means round and circle in Japanese. So let's just leave her. Have a nice nap, Maru. And as for Chibi, she is just really tiny when we got her so I just named her Chibi and she's a sweetheart and very curious she's a curious thing let's go find Momo she is also taking a nap um, can you hear her purr? She purrs really loud and she can be a little bit distance. She's never she's never stayed in the foster home. So um, she's not familiar with human, but she's getting there because we hug her every single day and she seems to be fine with it. So let's just leave her to her nap. Bye mama. And look who follow me. Hi chips. Momo really enjoy the stream and every time she wants to play she would just you know kind of sit there and then sit right next to the stream and then look at you with her googly eyes that really makes me feel really guilty so I guess I have to play with her for a bit
lucky. I think I'm gonna pick some of this. And this is the Karen one pound for $14.99. And this is from the loop and thread. I think I like this one better. It's also $14.99. This is the yarn I'm looking for, the Loop and Thread Skinny Chanel. This is a new Michael Yarn 2024, and last time when I was here, they didn't have any. I'm so happy they finally have some. skinny Chanel are the most skinny one so now I'm going to think about what am I going to make from this two color this is Malu napping on my table look at her tail Malu? Malu? This is hilarious. She's not willing to open her eyes, but she's saying hi through her tail. Hi, Madden. <laughs> <laughs> 